Welcome to this interesting question. Given to us is a right angle trapezium with length of parallel sides as A and 7 by A centimeter. We have a circle inscribed in the trapezium. Exciting part is with this very limited data, we have to find area of trapezium in absolute terms. Let's check this elegant solution. Here A, B, C, D, it's a circumscribing quadrilateral and by theorem, for any circumscribing quadrilateral, the sum of opposite sides is equal. Here the opposite sides are x and y. So their sum will be equal to a plus 7 by a. Squaring both the sides and opening up the bracket will get equation in this form. Let's get the second equation. For that from point C, we'll drop a perpendicular on AB. Now if you look at triangle CEB, here the length CE that is x centimeter and the length EB. EB is full length AB minus AE or 7 by A minus A centimeter. Applying Pythagoras theorem, we'll get x square plus 7 by A minus A square is y square. Let's rearrange these terms to get y square minus x square is 7 by A minus A whole square. Now RHS, let's open the bracket in RHS. Now these two equations, let's subtract these equations. So when we are subtracting in LHS y square will get cancelled down and in RHS a square and 49 by a square will get cancelled down. So LHS will be nothing but 2x square plus 2xy and RHS that will be 14 plus 14 or 28. Let's divide both the side by 2 and in LHS let's take the x common. So we'll get equation in this form. Now let's apply the formula for area of trapezium that is half of sum of parallel side. So here sum of parallel side is a plus 7 by a times height. The height is x. Now a plus 7 by a that is nothing but x plus y. So let's replace this with x plus y. Now here is the magic that x plus y times x that we have calculated earlier that's 14. So let's replace it with 14 and solving it will get area of trapezium as 7 centimeter square. And that's our answer. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I will see you in next video. Till then, tata, bye bye.